Hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to your weekly reading. I really appreciate you being here and joining the channel. Um, this is going to be a weekly reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or to the cross watchers dealing with a Virgo. Um, and I'm going to be looking at your love situation. We'll see what cards are coming up for you. What do you need to know? What can the tarot reveal for you in this upcoming week? Um, I'll, it will be focused in love, on love, sorry. Um, and hopefully there's something here that resonates. So if there is, drop a like, share, subscribe. I'd love to have you on board. So let's have a look, Virgo. Okay, so there's a Scorpio and a Leo coming up around some of you. The death card is someone from the past coming back in, or there's an ending or a breakup happening here. Ace of Pentacles, the sun reversed. Okay, strength is going to be required in this situation. The judgment card, the hangman, the death card, someone's making a decision to end things. Um, Virgo, this is about you, so you might be thinking about a decision to end something here. Now, there's, there's possibly a secret you're harboring or something you're not telling your person, and it may be something that keep you keep thinking about and it's coming up again and again the hangman feels like you don't want to be honest about something with someone because you feel like they might not handle it the way that you want them to or they may judge you about a situation virgo so straight away i'm getting a sense that um, you're avoiding something because you're avoiding judgment now you can be your own worst critic here virgo but when, when someone else criticizes you it's it's pretty tough um, you know, you, you don't always handle it the best. So I feel like this is, you're trying to protect yourself in the process by keeping this. Now, for some of you, it's like an ex, you could be still connected to an ex yet you're with someone new, um, and you're still friends or you're still talking to the ex, but the other person doesn't know. It's a bit messy. It, <laughs> what are you doing, Virgo? What are you getting up to? Um, because I feel like, you know, there's something going on. It's repetitive behavior. Infinity symbol, the sun, the coin. This is spheres. Cyclical repetitive behavior happening here. And the sun card, sun card is being in darkness. The death card is darkness. You're either keeping someone in the dark about something or you're in the dark about something here, Virgo. And someone is keeping secrets from you. Now... This is a reading focused more on you, so my gut feeling is that it's around you. Um, like I said, it could be about your past, something you once did or didn't do. And King of Swords is, is a message here of being open about something and telling them, having the strength to tell them. Um, I, I even feel like you have to, you, you, you feel bad for um, letting someone down. Now, it could be an ex, it could be an ex that's, that's been in your life for a while. They're still important to you. Obviously, you shared a very strong attachment. And it's almost like you want to tell them to back away. But then a part of you is like, um, no, I don't really want to do that. And you're hung up about the situation with the hangman. But, you know, be careful. It's not jeopardizing your other relationships with people because it could. But there's, I, I keep getting the sense that you're faced with this judgment someone's words have have not left you with the king of swords they've sort of orbited around you um and you're not really sure you're not really sure what to think or where to take it from here so there's some sorting out or some sifting i think that needs to take place here so aries leo scorpio energy around you this week could be these signs around you aries is reversed around you um and this is you you're quite you're you're quite sensitive about something or it's making you angry it's making you angry that you're holding something from your person or that your person may be holding something from you now if it's not secrets going on here virgo the death card is the subconscious that's trying to tell you something but i think for some of you your subconscious is trying to tell you that you need to end a situation it's the right judgment call that you need to make. You can no longer continue with a relationship or with an ace. It's not an easy decision you have to make. And you don't want to be you don't want to be the bearer of bad news. You don't want to be the one that's gonna to have to suffer. You have an angel here, so your decision is protected. 
um, by God, by spirit, by your guardian angels. So you have to, you have to go with that. Some of you are in two minds though. You feel like, oh, if I'm going to leave this person, it's going to be bad. You know, I'm going to be think this. You have to eliminate this, that page of swords energy. He keeps going back on his word, back on his decision. So if you're going to do something, Virgo, excuse me, this time you have to stick to it. You have to make it consistent. So I wonder if a part of you is trying to suppress these feelings yourself. Um, being in the dark, I keep getting like being in the dark about something or not shedding light on a situation. Your person might be like, what's up, Virgo? What's going on? You, you've been acting different. You're this, you're that. You know, they might even be accusing you of some things and, and, and it's going to... It's going to put up some resistance on your part. I wouldn't be surprised if that's what you're getting a bit angry or a bit sensitive about. You have to understand from their shoes, they don't really know what's going on internally with you, Virgo. But they're, they're intuitive enough to clue in on that. Scorpio energy is intuition. So it's either you need to listen to yours or this person is listening to theirs and they can, they can sense that you are off. Your mind is elsewhere. Okay, this person already knows. They already know something here, Virgo. They already know something's up. They already know they're being kept in the dark about something. And I feel like there's a reveal that needs to happen with a judgment card. This is blowing the trumpet. Um, careful, this is not gossip, okay? Speculation. It could be that your person is like overreacting and thinking that something else is wrong um, and, and pro 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 possibly or probably um, blowing it out of proportion when it's not as bad as, as what they think it may be. Um, so m maybe it's that. Maybe it's that kind of energy. But there is an ending coming up. The, the death card is an ending that's taking place, a breakup, an emotional goodbye. Or you're restarting something with an X. It can be like rebirth. Um, but I keep getting like there's an ending. You know, it's like an emotional ending or a separation. Now this may be temporary. Things are open-ended as they are at this present energy. Nothing is set in stone. But I feel like with a judgment card, it's a release that needs to happen or needed to happen. Even if it needs to happen temporarily, it's going to put you in a King of Swords energy. You'll be in a better place mentally when you've had time away from this person or this, this kind of energy. So I do hope that has made sense. Virgo, thank you so, so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Um, and I do hope to be able to be in touch very, very soon. So have a wonderful week. And until next time, bye for now.